tell us a little things that make holidays extra special and one great way to make a memory with your family is to build a gingerbread house. Joining us this morning for this Christmas masterclass is Kim Gans, owner of Sweet Flower Bake Shop and pastry chef Jennifer Benz. Welcome to you both. Thank Thanks you. for coming in because this is fantastic. We have to get started because we're going to build one of these things. But tell me, you know, in terms of starting with the best stuff, you got to start with icing. Uh, you you know the best start icing with a good gingerbread. <laughs> yep, that's your basic thing. Have your awesome recipe and then a good icing to help hold everything together. And you make your own icing, but some people get them in bags already made. Yeah, we make our own. The kit comes with a royal icing kit, so all you a royal icing mix. So all you have to do is add water. And royal icing isn't like icing sugar icing. It's a mixture of icing sugar and meringue powder. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's we the difference. We can show you right here exactly. So yeah, so when we're working with the kit and we've got the little pieces, making yeah. sure that it stays together. <laughs> is your is glue yeah. yeah okay so what, what have you got you've got your so in here in the bowl we have the um, the royal icing mix that comes in the kits that we sell at our uh, our company and so I'm just gonna put in three tablespoons of water oh water not milk okay yeah uh, and this is I mean some of these it's just about being so creative but you make it look so easy <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna turn it on a mix I always start it on low so it doesn't kind of poof Poof. up everywhere on us a big white cloud uh, and then once it all comes together I usually let it run on like a, a four or six speed for about okay. five minutes and then it gets the right consistency it gets kind of like a stiff marshmallow fluff consistency okay and how long does it take to dry like how long would you leave a house to dry before you decorate if you're gonna put tons of candy on it I would leave it even a couple of hours okay um, I because I love lots of candy on my gingerbread <laughs> house I usually leave them 24 hours if I can okay and this one you brought in is half done already I love the shingles shreddies uh, I've also <laughs> used uh, mini wheats before um, yesterday with our staff we were talking about cinnamon toast crunch Ooh, um, even the bulk store I was at the other day had beautiful chocolate medallions that would oh, make awesome nice. Roof. I think the yeah. best part is it's your imagination. So whatever yeah. you yeah. find in your cover, whatever you dream up, that's that's it's what we really love about whatever it. you want to do. It's an activity, and it's however you want to do. And you, you can do. do themed houses as well. Absolutely. <laughs> Tell me about the shop because there's a two-minute record. Two minute you have. Yes, yeah. So where we kind of uh, made our, our beginning was uh, custom cookies in two minutes. So you pick your dough, pick what you want in it, and get it. Hot in two medium. minutes. In two minutes. It's yeah. amazing. And then we've evolved into gifts and gingerbread houses and cookies and cupcakes. So show me how you would assemble, or 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 how you would like maybe move on to the decorating sure. or how you'd finish this because let's say you've assembled it and you've let it sit there for we've a couple of hours. Okay. Um, so then I have royal icing. Yeah. So we can at this point do different colors. Mm -hmm. um, so. In the kit that we sell, it comes with a couple different piping bags. You can make different colors. Um, and then it's just really whatever candy you'd like to work with or whatever you feel like putting on. Just fabulous. So we also have some Christmas trees and gingerbread men here today if you want to try decorating any. Oh, me? One, yeah. yeah. Oh, that might be. Yeah, <laughs> After looking at these beautiful houses, that might, okay. So, so, and the one thing about the piping bag is, and because when we've done these in my house, before it's just been icing in a bowl and it yeah. doesn't work all that well it's more difficult anyway. it's a little bit harder so in here we just put it in the piping piping bags uh, we give you a couple of ribbons so I okay. tie it really tight and then you just want to squeeze at the top of the bag and your icing will come out There's some little boots and a little trick too if you don't have piping bags at home you could use ziploc bags can you yeah, yeah. And okay then just tie them and cut the end so that works just as well and then, yeah, and then you can, can you refill it or once it's done, it's kind of done? You can definitely refill them. These ones are plastic reusable bags, so you can even, when it's all done, wash them out and, and use them over again. This is, I'm telling you, it's not can easy. Add a little look at it. They don't even look like balls, they like just little spouts. <laughs> but then we can put some M&Ms on it. We've got jube jubes. I like using marshmallows to kind of make little mounds really of snow. Sweet. Yeah. So we can kind of make a little ah. snow fort. And you're putting the, the, the if you're going to do smarties like that that size on that roof that's going to take a while right <laughs> it is so um we have one that we've done uh i did at the store yesterday uh so i have that the mini m ms that we used for a little path um yeah it's really whatever Tell me what the, about that chocolate uh, as the you know on the roof that you've got that's royal icing that i covered with uh, just food coloring that's yeah. it yeah and then just, I had a thinner consistency, so you can have different consistencies. Uh, and then it just kind of poured down the roof a little bit well, to give go. us shingles. I don't know about you, but that's pretty a good. That looks beer. awesome. <laughs> like, really. I, I mean, like The it. gingerbread house that you brought in is just fantastic, and thanks so much. So here's the finished product, folks. But we're going to have some tips on our website from the folks who know. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Jennifer, for coming Thank in. You. Thank you. Thank you.